Today, we're gonna to be walking you guys through a full color mixing guide on how to achieve all of the colors used in this pair of Sean Witherspoon Air Maxes. Being that this pair is made up of mainly corduroy, all of the colors are going to intentionally fade a little bit over time. So all of the colors we're gonna be using are intentionally a little bit dulled out and less saturated. You're gonna learn how you could do this colorway on any type of shoe, but for today's video, we're gonna be using this Jordan 1 Low Base. Now, let's go ahead and get into it. So for our first color yellow, the colors that we're gonna be utilizing are pale yellow, flat white, play in the sand, light gray, and petal pink. And now here's what those ratios would look like. And here's our final color. So depending on the shoe model that you're working with, you definitely want to use the natural contours and panels within the shoe to your advantage. So starting off with our yellow, I'm going to go ahead and lay it down on our sock liner, tongue, toe box, along with the entire eyelet panel and this upper heel panel that wraps around the back of the shoes. Now in order to create our gray color, we're going to utilize light gray, chocolate, beige, lilac, and flat black. And here's what that breakdown would look like. And here's our final color. Now with our gray paint, what we're essentially doing is laying down a stripe underneath our eyelet panel. The most important thing here is trying to achieve the same thickness of the line and following the contour of that eyelet panel. I'm gonna be using a size zero filbert brush in order to achieve this look. Now in order to create our pink color, we're gonna use petal pink, shell pink, hot pink, buttercup, and light gray. And here's what that breakdown would look like. And now here's our final color. For our blue color, we're gonna use blue turquoise, flat white, blue, neon Bahama blue, and light gray. And here's our ratios for that. And our final color. In order to create our purple color, we're gonna use purple, violet, navy blue, blue, and light gray. Here's that breakdown. And now our final color. Now for our green color, we're gonna use midnight green, dark green, chocolate, and light gray. And here's our percentages for that. And now our final color. For our green color, I'm going to again use some of the natural shapes, contours, and panels within the shoe model itself to my advantage and begin to fill in some of those with the green. Now that we have most of our main colors taken care of, there's two additional colors that I wanna talk about quickly. We have this tiny little brown panel on the side here, and then we have this mist colored pull tab at the back. In order to create these two simple colors, what I did for the brown was take a mixture of about 50% chocolate and 50% black, and then in order to create the mist colored pull tab, what I did was take about 50% white and 50% light gray. And of course we had to finish this project with a pair of custom laces. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this process, how to dye any pair of laces, we're gonna go ahead and throw a card on the screen for you. Also a little side note, sometimes when you're working with colors, they might look a little bit different depending on the surface that you're working on. So if your colors are a little bit too saturated, that's where adding in a little bit more light gray is really gonna help bring that saturation down. With a colorway like this, we're really trying to go for that faded look, so we're intentionally trying to dull these out a little bit. 
Now, anytime you're color mixing, it's always very important to remember that you can always add in additional paint to your mixture, but it's a whole lot harder to remove color out of your mixture. So always make sure that you're adding the paint in very tiny little droplets that are gonna make a big difference. Also, be sure to let us know in the comments what other popular colorways you guys would like to see a color mixing guide from us in the future. Let us know what you thought of how this pair turned out today, and we'll see you guys in that next video.